I want to show you how I meal prep for the week. So oftentimes on Saturday or Sunday, depending on which day I have more time, I will meal prep a lot of our meals like dinners and quick lunches for me and Buddy on one day. And that way we have a whole lot of meals for the week. And especially with baseball, Caden and Connor are both in baseball and Caden just made track team as well. So we are going to be very busy these next few months. So it's easy to just grab and go. Sometimes I even will grab a, um, a meal prep, heat it up and stick it in my bag and just take it to the ball field so that I'm not so tempted to eat the amazing concession stand food <laughs> that they have there. So I want to show you what I do for my chicken. You can do this with chicken breast. You can do this with any type of chicken, but I really like dark meat, even though it's not like the healthiest. So I'll switch normally back and forth between chicken breast and chicken thighs. I buy the really big packs at Costco, the boneless, skinless chicken thighs, as well as the chicken breasts. So today I'm going to marinate my chicken thighs in this marinade that I have just kind of concocted. And I've done a bunch of other types of marinades before in the past, but this is my absolute favorite. And my kids love it. My husband loves it. Everyone loves it. The thing about it is I don't really know the measurements. So I'm just going to show you how I do it. And then feel free to try to replicate if you want to try it for yourself as well. I use, let me get a spoon. Here are the ingredients and I'll list them out at the end as well. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce. You can do low sodium. I think this is just original soy sauce. Uh, I've got garlic powder, garlic salt. This is key, okay? I don't know what it is, but it's amazing. It's the Grill Mates Brown Sugar and Bourbon Seasoning by McCormick. So good. Uh, crushed red pepper flakes. I've just now started to add some of these in sometimes and it actually gives it a good little heat. Onion powder and salt and pepper. And then you're gonna need olive oil or some sort of like oil to coat and honey. So I am just gonna start dumping that into my bowl here. And I really don't, depending on how much chicken you have, kind of depends on how much marinade you need. But I just kind of eyeball what I think I need to coat this chicken. I know this looks like a lot, but it comes out kind of slow. So this is olive oil. I don't know. I just coated the bottom of this bowl with olive oil. That's the amount. Okay. Coat the bottom of your bowl. Um, honey, probably the same amount. So I want a good amount of honey because it gives a good sweetness and kind of caramelization on the grill. Cause I'm going to put these on the grill. You can also bake it, but I use our grill outside. So, okay. Got my honey and my olive oil. This is the honey from our bees. I love cooking with the stuff that I have grown at home. It's such a rewarding feeling. Okay. And Worcestershire sauce. Just a couple little splashes of that. Same with the soy sauce. Now, this is going to add a lot of, the soy sauce is going to, unless you have like low sodium, it's gonna add a lot of salt into your marinade. So just keep that in mind if you're adding salt extra. You may need that, you may not need to add salt at all. So those are pretty much all my liquid ingredients. Um, now I'm going to add in my seasonings. Garlic powder. I'm 
my McCormick's brown sugar bourbon. I probably go through like a quarter of this bottle every time I make a marinade. I need to find like a bigger bottle of this stuff. Garlic salt. Just a little because like I said, it's already kind of salty. Crushed red pepper flakes. Not too much because my kids eat this too. And onion powder. Black pepper, maybe just a dash of regular salt. Okay, now I'm going to whisk this all together, and it's going to make like um, a marinade. A thick, kind of a thick substance. If you don't have honey, you could add brown sugar. If you don't have honey, you could add just molasses. This is kind of what you're looking like here. And tilt you back up. Smell it. It smells good. Now what you're going to do is you're going to add in your chicken, your raw chicken. I have mine over here in the strainer because I was uh, cleaning it. really don't. So I've got just my chicken thighs. I'm gonna put them all into this marinade. If you don't like touching raw chicken, then just use tongs. I'm gonna fill up this bowl, so with my chicken. Wash my hands real quick. Make sure your lid's on there good. And then you're going to shake, shake, shake. Turn it over. And make sure that all of your chicken is coated. Now that we've got all of our chicken coated in the marinade, you can let this sit in the refrigerator overnight, 24 hours, um, a few hours. Just make sure that you give it some time to absorb that. Um, normally, if I'm gonna cook in the evening, I'll start this in the in the morning, uh, at least six hours, just uh, I would say, to let this, or if you have a Ziploc baggie, you can put this in a Ziploc baggie if you don't have a big bowl. Um, I'm gonna stick this in the fridge and probably grill this up tomorrow. And I'll show you how we meal prep everything else with it tomorrow. All right, I am going to meal prep tonight the chicken that I had marinated in the marinade that I showed you guys the other day. And I'm going to just show you what I do on a normal day for meal prepping. So I'm going to just, whichever vegetable, sometimes we switch up between broccoli, Brussels sprouts. I've got some um, zucchini. Zucchini is like my favorite vegetable. I've got some zucchini that I need to use before it kind of goes bad. Nope, this is zucchini. And we are going to, can you get me a big bowl to put these in please? Mm -hmm. Or like a, a metal bowl, mixing bowl? So um, as a special treat tonight, I am going to actually cook up the potatoes that we dug out of our garden. And that will be my first ever homegrown to potato to eat. So that's kind of special. Don't worry, I have washed these. But as far as meal preps go, I basically just do a protein, a starch, and a vegetable. And then I put them in our meal prep boxes. 
and put them in the refrigerator. And then Buddy and I will take them for lunches and dinners throughout the week. And sometimes I'll mix it up or I'll do like a fish, um, fish or steak or uh, ground turkey. Um, and then, of course, I'll mix up the veggies. One time I was, I was on a broccoli kick and I did broccoli for like a month. And Buddy said, if you make me eat broccoli one more time. <laughs> he loves broccoli, but I almost ruined it for him because I was cooking too much broccoli. So anyway, I try to mix it up now, make sure that we have a good variety so we don't get kind of tired of what we're eating. And my starch today, other than the red potatoes, is going to be white rice. And the rice that um, I cook is jasmine rice, and I cook it in my instant pot and my instant pot cooks my rice in three minutes and then i have to let it do a um, natural natural release for about 10 minutes and then it is good to go it's the best way i found to cook rice um, it's so fast and it always cooks it perfectly because i'm not a very good rice cooker i tend to um on the stove. I even had a rice cooker one time and something happened to it. I think it like quit working, but the Instant Pot is awesome for cooking rice. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll save these little bits for our compost or the chickens. And we will go. And then I'm going to start my rice. So I'll show you how I get that started while we're outside grilling. Now I'm going to cook my chicken and my veggies on my big grill. Okay, go and gonna put a little bit of oil down. And turn my heat up a little bit. griddle makes it super easy to meal prep because I can get so much on this grill at once and it just makes it go by quicker. One time, one time she made two stuff and three stuff on that grill. Yeah, one time I made hibachi, remember? Oh my gosh, I love hibachi. Yes, I know. So I'm going to take the chicken that I marinated and I'm going to put it on the grill. down a little bit. I want to burn it. So the chicken's going to need to grill for about seven minutes a side. I've kind of honed it down for what I've been cooking before and it's about seven minutes per side and then it's done. So we're just going to keep this, keep an eye on this, and uh, we'll flip it in a minute. All right, it's been about seven minutes. I'm just, I've just been over here kind of stirring the veggies around. Um, I like them to get a little grill marks on them. And one seasoning that Buddy and I both really like is this, I don't know if you've got it in your stores or not, but it's the Uncle Chris's Gourmet Steak Seasoning. We put it on our vegetables and our potatoes. It's uh, really good. If you're not sure about your chicken, um, you can always just use a meat thermometer and just make sure, some of them have them in the little poultry range, but uh, 165 internal temp should be good um, and you'll be safe from any pink danger spots. This is what it looked like once I flipped them.
I don't use a whole lot of oil. The oil that I am using tonight is just vegetable oil or, yeah, I think this is vegetable oil. But I just basically do a light coating on the griddle so nothing sticks. But I don't deep fry it by any means. I've got this cool little dome that I can put on top of the veggies because normally I would just take them off, but because the potatoes are still in there, I want to give them time to really soften. So I'm just going to turn the heat down to low. Try to gather them up as best I can. I have a silly goose. <laughs> silly goose. Okay, we took the lid off and I just poked some of these um, Ooh, potatoes and they were tender. So I'm going to put them in my bowl. And after when we do that, they get hot. Mm hmm. Okay, so for my rice, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in to my Instant Pot three cups of rice. I'm going to use jasmine rice. Three cups of rice. And then three cups of chicken broth. You can do water if you want, but I like chicken broth because it just gives it a little bit of extra flavor and some extra protein. Or this is chicken stock. Chicken stock, chicken broth, whatever. I'm grilling chicken here in a second, baby. Okay, I'm going to mix this up, put the lid on, Just stir this around a bit, make sure all the rice has To check my seal really quick and turn this down to three minutes okay okay we are done with our meal prep. Rice looks good. It's fully cooked, nice and fluffy, perfectly cooked every time in the instant pot. Can't really fluff it with one hand, but it's looking good. And basically all I'm going to do now is just scoop some of each into our little containers and then we will be good for the week. And I'm going to be eating this for dinner as well. We have got nine meal preps. We could have made more but we're gonna eat some of this for dinner tonight. So basically this is what it looks like with the chicken and veggies and the rice. And we will just grab and go throughout the week. And so, I'm gonna eat or go to finish it. Yes, you can finish it up for me. Wait, do not. Super easy, super simple on the grill. Uh, you could cook it in your uh, oven if you want to, bake chicken or do your veggies on your stove. Um, but yeah, this and is how. Yep, this is how we milk up, and, and we hope that you have a great night, and uh, have your sleep to be real good. Yes, we hope you sleep really well, but that's it for today. Thank you so much. Bye. Uh -huh.